Good afternoon, everyone. It's Dr. A. Vasquez. In this video, we will be discussing holding police to a higher standard. So a lot of times uh, police, uh, they're held to this high standard that is, is not attainable, right? You can't be involved in this. You can't do that. Some police departments, I think they're, they're not even allowed to have social media, right? Uh, and yes, I believe that police officers should be held to the high standard because they have discretion. They're able to employ force when they see it necessary, when they think is reasonable. My question to you is this. Why isn't there other professions that are also held to a high standard? I think that if you're a judge, if you're a lawyer, if you're a dentist, if you're a teacher for, for kindergarten, um, whatever, astronaut, um, principal, whatever have you, there's other occupations as well that need to be held to that same high standard. If one police officer commits, I don't know, some type of legal issue, whatever, let's just say something like child support. Oh my goodness, their career is over. Um, man, the, the life is falling apart. My question is, if they're held to that higher standard, shouldn't the neurosurgeon also be held to that higher standard? Shouldn't that banker, that accountant, uh, the tax preparer? So again, yes, I think police officers should be held to the highest standard possible, but I think there's other occupations that need to be held to that same standard. Thank you so much.